Always remember the five D's. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and deflect. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. We're in the plan, folks. Number 14, apparently. It's my weekly show. I we talk about all the different news and shenanigans, all the happenings that occur around the holo table, and it's a good time, sometimes. I'm pretty tired today, I'm gonna try to keep it brief as we can, but you know how these things go. So, uh, please help me mount the algorithm, if you would, I would appreciate that, folks. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, we're doing it, guys. Or are we? All right, first up, we have the mod update that we always, <laughs> that's like stupid. I could never do it, guys. They, they, this could be, it could have been a perfect mod and it just didn't turn into one. We've, I've tried upgrading a couple mods now uh, and we've never rolled speed once. Uh, but, but this could have been a plus 30 if we had rolled a couple plus sixes. I didn't even roll any speed at all, though. And it's a worthless mod now, unfortunately. Well, it's not worthless. It's just, for where I'm at in the game, it's, it's not as compelling. I'll, I'll say that. So, all right. Did you know that there's a credit cap? This is from the thumbnail, actually. There's a credit cap on our credits. Someone took a screenshot. And it is, there's actually a mathematical reason for it. I don't really know why that number is. And I I could have read an article and I decided not to. I decided my life was too short to have to read articles about stupid math things. Or smart math things, but math things all the same. Uh, what, so what makes me laugh is, this is like you, you, you reach the maximum limit but there's also like a little spending guide. It's like, you can use credits for some items and shipments, weekly shipments and the mod store. You know, there's all these different things you could do. Like, maybe you should try something. Maybe you should try this. Like, it's baffling to me that someone got to over 2 billion credits. Like, their, their mods must be just the worst. Must just be atrocious. At the same time, it's kind of a cool thing to see. I don't know, I hadn't seen it before. Maybe you hadn't either. Uh, the Datacron set 4 is out now. We're all rapidly, or industriously farming them as much as we can. And I do have an infographic out. You can find that on my Discord server. In the video description there's a link. And it's in the Datacron section. Uh, the, sorry, the infographic section. I'm actually going to update this at some point because I've discovered recently a few different comps that you want to be working on. Just keep in mind, guys, that that cooldown reduction is way better than my video says it is because I did not realize it could do some of the things it could. So, um, you know, that's partially why I'm going to update this. But for now, you can find this, uh, you know, the cooldown up. Uh, the cooldown thing for Empire is, is just crazy. It just truly is. I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes. All right, Boosh was released. Boosh, Boosh. <laughs> I've got news for you. And Boosh is interesting. Light side, another Leia, kind of. I mean, uh, do you guys really consider this Leia? I, I don't know, I would like a different Leia, frankly. Um. Not to be ungrateful, I'm glad that this version is in the game, I guess. I just, it would be nice to get a different Leia, in my opinion. She's, this one, this one isn't as much Leia as others. And before you say slave Leia, that, that was never going to happen. It just wasn't, guys. The, the way Disney's policies work, uh, like they, uh, I defy you to find any likeness of Leia, Princess Leia, slave Leia, I should say. Uh, in, you know, slave garb and everything that's, like, sold, any kind of likeness that's sold of that version of Leia by Disney at all since, like, 2015 or something like that. It's, they, they put out a policy and, um, that's, that's just how it works. So, we get Boosh, 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 <sighs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but, you know, they never say it in the game. 
Uh, there's a lot of things, or they never say it in the movie. There's a lot of things they don't say in the movie, however. Just like there's a lot of things that she said. That's what she said, sort of things. Now, the, the next Jabba requirements are out. And it's an interesting thing, folks, because there's like one Relic 8 and the rest are Relic 7 and lower. There's zero Relic 9s, which I would have bet good money. I think most people would have bet good money that there would have been Relic 9s. And there just aren't, and it makes me think that they are trying to make this, like, this is, like, the the new player's Galactic Legend, maybe? I, I'm not sure. Like, there's still a lot of tricky farms, and the gear is actually fairly expensive still. Like, I, I, was, I was looking at it, and my alt is, you know, at, at 7.4. It has a lot of these things worked on at least to some degree like for these for these specific ones like aura sing is gear 11 i think but then fennec is relic 5 and so is, and boba's relic 8 and so looking at all the requirements and stuff i still i, I would still cost me like 2000 carbanti and stuff it's still an expensive galactic legend but he's going to be really helpful for a lot of different reasons it like he's gonna be it's gonna be a good pve character and everything as well so i really think like i think my alt might end up going for jabba next in fact i think that that's probably going to be what i do i thought i was gonna go for supreme leader kylo but it, <sighs> we don't know the kits yet but right now it's looking like that uh the the problem of course the reason so there, there's a couple different hooks here first off yes these relic level numbers are pretty manageable they don't require a whole lot however if you want to whale on this galactic legend you have to there's three different marquee characters that are in here and it's like 300 bucks a pop so if you want to rel if you want to whale on this character uh, i mean it's it's tough tough to spend 900 bucks on one character that we don't even know if they're like we don't know the kit and I, I, you know cg keeps releasing like hey grand inquisitor is going to come out they're going to be out here pretty soon grand inquisitor is going to be out and we're like okay we waited for five months and everyone was like oh my gosh we got to get ready got to get ready and then grand inquisitor was a pretty big disappointment uh, because they didn't release the kit it would be nice if they actually released the kit early in and stuff i should add i don't have a screenshot of it but mob enforcer got a total rework including her picture her like her in game picture it's it's um that's a good improvement I, I can't tell, actually, just reading her kit. I don't know if it's going to be the fifth character in the Jabba team. Like, we have Jabba, and then we have Black Kersantan. I guess he's just Kersantan in this one. We have Skiff Guard Lando, and Boosh. And then we don't know who the fifth is, really. I mean, Mob Enforcer might be it. We don't. We just don't know. So, it's, um, it's an interesting situation to be in. I, I would expect Jabba to be here pretty soon i don't know pretty soon now one thing i did want to go through with you folks we're gonna go into the game for just one moment we're just gonna do it from here i wanted to point out something so right now we can farm we can farm these uh some of these requirements but not all of them. so uh here's the thing for datacron set four we cannot set we cannot uh well we can't farm the level nine requirements like the, the level nine materials we just can't do it folks we i mean we can farm them for crystals i guess now the pack just came out so we can we can farm that however what we can farm level six and level three and so i, I just want to remind you folks so what i would advise doing because this is a total garbage tie fighter pilot one i'm, I'm just waiting to be able to eventually re-roll this or maybe i'll just keep this because I need a couple just level sixes, and then I can reroll some of the stats or something if I want to. But however, the this is a garbage TIE Fighter pilot one. But what you do here, and I, I didn't catch on to this immediately enough, so I'm passing it on to you. I'm sure most of you really quick-witted folk have already discovered this. However, if you're like me, take, you take a minute to figure it out. What you need to do here, folks, because you can farm or you can farm the level three and level six materials in Conquest. Those two are available in Conquest for quote unquote free, you know, for refreshes, of course, and all that. But 
you can farm them. You can not farm level 9s, so what you need to do, you need to level the Oma, or the Datacron all the way up from 1 all the way to 9. And I think the trickiest part is sometimes you don't get a dark side 1. You, you keep getting light side 1s and you want a dark side 1, etc. But once you get one of those, and I, I don't re-roll it, just keep going. If, even if you get a trash number si level 6, just keep going. And eventually you'll get to level 9. And then do the rerolls on nine so that they only cost 20. That you only want to cost, you want it to cost 20 on the nine because those are the ones that are truly crazy impactful. Unless, of course, you only care about the level six with the Empire Inflicts debuff one. That one's really important, of course, and you're going to want like three or four of those probably. Uh, just, you know. It's a really good one. Really, really good one. Especially in 5v5. There are some truly crazy comps that people are, have been coming up with. I'm very, very impressed. But uh, because you can't farm this level 9, keep the rerolls cheap. You know, once you do two rerolls, then it turns into a 40. And that's why this one is expensive because I rerolled 6. And I rerolled 6, got the one I wanted. Wonderful one. But then when I got to 9, I don't have the materials to reroll it, and I'm stuck with this really trash TIE Fighter Pilot one that it's like, well, I don't know if TIE Fighter Pilot's going to get this one, because the level 6 is pretty good. So, just keep in mind, uh, do that, do the level 9 one first, so then you have a couple rerolls at 20, and then you can farm uh, the mats to reroll at 6 and 3 if you so desire. Let's see, I think we're actually fairly close here. Yeah, so one thing to keep in mind, folks, Territory Battles is coming out. And we had those Road Ahead that came out, and honestly, I've already reacted to that on Crate. You guys don't need to hear that from me much more. I'm also going to be talking about it probably at length in the Gambit Roundtable, which is which takes place on the Gambit Podcast. You guys can watch it live on Twitch. You just search gambit podcast it should come up pretty easily and uh, you know we'll be doing it live at i think midnight on friday evening uh, so if you want to make it come hang out with us that'd be amazing but if you don't want to do that that's also fine uh come you know <laughs> you can listen to it though and in podcast format the night or the day after we'll be have that out so and that's that's found in the video description the link to that and it could just come out and Come hang out at the Discord server. We've got we've got well over four thousand members on our Discord server now. It's getting pretty busy, so come check that out. Now that being said, we're not going to talk about all the all the aspects of the uh, road ahead here. Unfortunately, I, like it was a really constructive one, really good one, and one of them is the fact the idea that we're getting new territory battles, and I'm excited to find out more details of like how it's going to work, how we're going to make decisions as guilds because it's going to shape a lot of things however keep in mind the two things that consistently pop up in those uh, discussions in though like on on their little thing is you want inquisition because you're going to be unlocking reva and reva is going to be probably the one that gets them to a good place i don't know so you're going to want to farm Inquisition, and you're going to want to farm in Grand Inquisitor. Now the Grand Inquisitor is probably going to be here in another three to four, like it's going to be here in like one or two, like probably zero to one months. Like pretty soon, we're going to get the Grand Inquisitor event again. And then we're going to get it another three months after that. And I would highly recommend, folks, that you start working on Inquisition. Even though they're not fun, even though their requirements are crazy, I would highly recommend that you work on them because you need them in a ton of different facets of the game. And they'll help you unlock Grand Inquisitor, which will in turn help you unlock Reva in Territory Battles. It's going to help your guild, guild help you and everything. And then Jabba, of course, is going to be important as well. Those two, I think, are going to be the priority for a lot of guilds probably pushing that a lot. So I would I would get I would get on that folks. Hop on it. Now if you're about to unlock Ray or something like that, don't just go get Jabba. No. Actually do you know, use your own discretion, but I do think those two squads are going to be fairly important. 
And I think that's it for today, folks. Short one and all. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Even when he stays up super late just for you. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. <laughs>